This is Mr. Tulips at Hammer and Hatchet Engineering, and today I'm going to be using Splash Zone, which is a two part epoxy. And I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm pretty much done, I just got one more little bit to do. And you mix it 50 50, it's really easy. And I'm doing this to, um, I should change the, to fix some um, rotten wood. I don't want to replace it right now so anyway I do that much of the yellow and stick it in this bucket of water same so I got about 50 50 and it's just easier to mix it in the water and it's easier to not use your gloves um, probably should but I just you can't get a fill and then it kind of sticks to the gloves it kind of washes off pretty good okay so it's getting there it usually turns green but you can see some yellow <coughs> so you know you need to keep mixing and the good this, this stuff is good for um fixing anything metal and wood but um, if you're fixing it like a, if you have a pipe leak at home you need to make sure or a tank you, you can't just put it on while it is leaking whatever fluid it is water oil or whatever you got to make sure that it's dry and also you got to make sure that um, it cures for 12 hours. Right. So that's the horrible water it's in right now. That's the wood that I kind of, it's all rotten. You can see it all on the ground. So I pulled all that rotten wood out and then I brushed wood hardener on it. It says you can let it sit up for 12 hours or three hours before you can use it. Um, I waited 12 hours. So this is my final piece. So. This is cheating, but I don't think I'm ever going to have time to restore this properly. And I just want to dry this. However, I'm making it so when I do decide to restore it properly I can um, get this out it's a two-part epoxy and it, it is really strong the cool thing about it is that you can use water to kind of smooth it out so.
So you just keep dipping your fingers in the water. You can kind of get it smoothed out. It's really strong stuff. And I just kind of wet this so it keeps away from the frame. So that's two-part epoxy splash zone. It's really good stuff. I've used it for lots of things, mainly metal, tanks and pipes. It'll get you out of a bind. I even used it on a water pump. I just couldn't seat right. At the, it kept leaking outside the gasket, so I just put the water pump in. Um, put the splash zone all around it. The water was already drained out of the engine. Let it sit for 12 hours, and it lasted for as long as I, for quite some time, for at least a few years. But, well, up until even it was working when I sold the car. So anyway, this is I'm using for the wood. I know it's probably the wrong thing to do, but this is the best thing I can do for right now until I replace it. Alrighty, this is Mr. Two Lumps at Hammer and Hatchet Engineering, over and out.